dear viewers, this is Gulf TV. You are welcome to today's daily devotional. Let us pray. Our Most High God, we thank you for the grace to study at your feet. Thank you, Lord, for the, your, the entrance of your word. Give us understanding to the simple, the exalted, O Lord. As we go, give us understanding. Bless us through your word, O Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Once again, you are welcome to today's devotional. This week, we are studying lesson three. And the general topic for lesson three says, Amos, our present state from God's view. Amos, our present state from God's view. Topic for adults says, heed God's warning. For the youth, it says, be God's spokesman. And topic for the intermediate says, don't take God's and mercy for granted. Don't take God's blessings and mercy for granted. A memory verse is taken from the book of Amos chapter 3, verse 2 to 3. It reads, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Can two work together unless they agree? Hallelujah. Today is Tuesday, the 15th day of September 2020. And the talk topic we are considering today says, God despises vain worshippers. God despises vain worshippers. Our scripture is taken from the book of Amos chapter 5, from verse 21 to verse 27. Amos 5, 21 to 27, I read. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vow. But let judgment run down as waters, and righteousness as a mighty stream. Have you offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness forty years, O house of Israel? But ye have burned the tabernacle of your Moloch and chewed your images, the star of your God, which ye made to yourselves. Verse 27. Therefore, will I cause you to go into captivity beyond Damascus, see the Lord, whose name is the God of hosts. Hallelujah. God despises vain worshippers. Who are vain worshippers? Vain worshippers are those people that are worshipping God, praising God with their mouths. Then their heart is filthy. The heart is filthy, is dirty. The heart is full of so many abomination. This set of people are those people that are worshipping God in vain. God despised this set of people. Who are the vain worshippers? Vain worshippers are hypocrites. Those people who claim to love God, singing praises to God, but their heart is far from God. God abhors such people. Today, so many people claim to be worshipping God, serving God, but their heart is filthy, their heart is dirty. God has to have to do with our hearts. It is not our action, it is our heart. God sees the heart. So the way we worship God is very important. Today, we see so many gospel artists going about singing praises to God, worshiping God, doing this and that. But when you look at their lives, you look at their character, it does not match what they are saying. It does not match their praises. It does not match their worship. God despises such worship. God despises this kind of worshipers. That is why God is calling us to Amos as his children to repentance. God hates hypocrisy. God is expecting those people who will worship him in truth, in holiness, and in the spirit. These are the set of people that God is expecting to serve him. Look at your life. How are you serving God? Your worship, is it born out of love for God? 
Or you are just doing this for money or for people to know that you are full of, of activities before God. God is sending Amos to Ross today. In the book of Amos that you read, chapter 5, that's uh, verse 23 especially, he told his people not to oppress him because he knew their heart is evil. Oh, their heart is full of evil. That is why God said they should not praise him. He said he's no longer going to accept their fellowship, uh, their worship. He's no longer to uh, accept their praises. If you want God to accept your praises, if you want God to accept your worship, you must clean your heart. God is expecting those who will worship him to worship him in holiness, in truth, to worship him in righteousness. That is what God is expecting from us. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. And uh, you should know that your worship must be without setting aside the truth and the doctrine of the word of God. That is, your worship must be biblical. You must worship God according to his word, according to, to the biblical doctrine. Your worship must be according to the word of God. God is expecting that from every one of us. So your worship must be in compliance with the spirit and the truth. That is the true foundation of true worship that God is expecting from you and accepting from every one of us as his children. I pray God will not despise our worship. But the amen to this prayer is that we should worship God sincerely, worship him in truth and in holiness. And that is kind of worship that will be acceptable before our God. May God help us in Jesus' name. The point of emphasis for today is avoid vain worship. Make the spirit of truth to be the foundation of your worship. Make the spirit of truth the foundation of your worship. And the prayer point says, help me, Holy Spirit, to live my life right so that I will not be a vain worshiper. This is a very good prayer point. So pray this prayer sincerely that God should help you to live right and to make you a true worshiper, shall we pray. Our Most High God, we thank you for your word this morning. We pray, Lord, that you help us, O Lord, to serve you in holiness and in righteousness. Help us, O Lord, not to worship you in vain. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I, I'm sure you've been blessed through today's uh, devotional. If you have been blessed, praise the Lord. Now, if you have any question, you have prayer request, or you need counseling, or you have testimony, you are free to share with us. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye.